Good morning, everybody. I'm just finishing up sharpening my saw this morning. It's a snowy morning. Um, I have decided once again to stay home from logging and get a few things done. It's so hard because the climate here and the climate at Paulson's College is so different. I have to be very careful to make sure I um, log in the days that I can log. I don't want to drive all the way up there. But anyways, um, today I am uh, we're going to hitch up Baron here in a couple minutes and I'm going to let um, William take him out and give him a little exercise and then I want to um, lead Bree around. I haven't done that for a long time and uh, see how she does being led. And let me just get finished um, sharpening this saw. So I'll be actually this saw I'm going to be taking and cutting some slab wood today and uh, and then we will get Baron hitched up. Grab a lead, lead rope for you just in case you need to stop or whatever. Have to tie them for some crazy reason. You got a lot more snow up on the your place? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Gonna make things kind of sloppy, actually. See, I got my wagons all moved over on Saturday. Oh. Oh. Take those lines right back, William. Back. You got him. Off with, off with Baron, give him a little workout. Now our next step on the agenda is to get Marie out and lead her around a little bit. You know, Brenda, we haven't, uh, we gotta weigh her up. Yeah. It's how long now since we weaned her? Uh, it's, don't know, but it's been a while. So. Maybe the last time we weighed her is around when you weaned her, I don't know. It'd be kind of interesting if she's actually gained weight or lost weight since she's off her mother's milk. Amy. 
before we put her on the scales, I think we'll do a little bit of a walking around just to see how she leads, if she still leads as good as she, she did the last time I, I led her. when they haven't been fooled with for a while and then you start working them and they they work so good it's for one a really nice feeling you you know that you must have done something fairly right to get them to do to do as good as they're doing um, but also you realize you don't really need to spend a ton of time doing this because she's doing so good um, now the next time I take her out and lead her if she, if she doesn't do good well then I'm going to have to spend more time with her and and keep her going good but this is also a learning lesson for for Skippy here because he's got to learn how to be around horses more you know and yeah you know the saying um he leads like she leads like a puppy dog she uh. leads better than a puppy dog right now <laughs> well I must say oh I must say our puppy dog is leading a lot better. Yeah, he's learning fast. Come on, guy, gal. I like these obstacles on, I have here to be able to put these animals through to get them more trustworthy of me and just uh, doing all these crazy things that I'm able to do with them. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. So, Brenda, if you could get this situated. Yep. I can't see. I'll take a little short walk and I'll come back and put her on. Come here. Okay, so last time, which was about two months ago, she weighed 615 pounds. Wait a minute. Oh. No. Why do we have 368 on 622? Skippy, get off of there. And then we had 615. Uh, I think that one's later. Would it be? Come here. Because sure. that was. We're going to try again after we get our, our numbers figured out. So it is 615 pounds that she weighed uh, two months ago. Or and about about two months ago. That's less, what I have the scale set at. Less than two months ago. Oh. But we don't want that massive dog on here because he weighs so much. Okay. okay, there we are. Okay, so it looks like um, six sixty. Six sixty. Yeah. Wow. She's gained a lot then. Yeah. We won't show you all the weighing up, but we might still do all the horses and get them weighed up. Come on, girl. Guess you're good enough for now. Duke. You didn't water eat the worm? Nope. I did not. That's too heavy. He's lost weight? Are you kidding me? Okay, let's look at the board. We still have Baron to weigh up, but as you notice, every single horse has actually lost weight. Every single horse. All approximately about the same amount, except for Bree. Bree's actually gone up. Now, this is 
not unusual. And if you were to be doing this for your own horses, uh, this is not anything to be alarmed over. Horses this size especially fluctuate so much in size from day to day and whatnot. Also, you've got to remember um, a couple things. Here it is, the first part of December. The grass is basically all gone. They're, they're still going out there and picking, but the quality of it is just so poor. They're not gaining weight on that grass like they had been all summer. So that's one reason why they're actually going backwards because they're just back on, on hay and a little bit of poor quality grass outside. Um, also, uh, a little while ago, we just wormed everybody because they had a worm problem. And uh, of course, those worms take the weight off the horses too. So now that they've been wormed and they're starting to get used to their diet of the hay and grain, they should actually uh, start gaining a little bit of weight. Um, but generally just not as much as they do on good green grass. But anyways, let's go get Baron. I am sure he has lost probably more weight than the rest of these guys because of the fact that he was just recently castrated and there was a little bit of an issue even with the bleeding. So that took its toll on him. And uh, I'm sure he's lost weight, but that's okay. I'm not concerned at all about that. Um, he will start gaining weight quite nicely now, I'm pretty sure. And uh, it's still gonna be a couple more weeks before I put him back to, to the woods because I just don't wanna push the, the recovery on him because of his little bit of a, a backwards, you know, by going, but not, with having that bleeding at last a little longer than it should have, it really took its toll on him. So anyways, let's grab him and see what he weighs. I would say set it at 1500 and then shoot for, like set it at 1580. Fifteen twenty. Fifteen twenty. Wow. Come here. Come on. Let me double check on that. Fifteen. Well, twenty-five. Fifteen okay. twenty-five. We'll give him five more pounds. Write it down and uh, show it, and then let's take him outside and show him without his harness on to show his loss. So there's Baron's weight, 1525. So we'll just take him outside in the light so you guys can, you guys can see. He's still looking good. We haven't brushed him since he just came back from his little run up the, through the woods, but um, he has most definitely lost a lot of weight. Um, and it's just because of the, the surgery and the slight troubles he had with the bleeding. Um, but, hey. and of course he's actually doing a lot more work than some of the other horses because, hey. <laughs> come here, come here. so he's actually doing, <laughs> he's feeling better, Yeah. feeling good. So he's actually, hey. so he's been actually doing a lot more work even some, than a lot of the other horses because I've been, um, having him go on a trot most every day to get a little bit, to keep the swelling down. I am confident he will come right back on his weight. Well, as we, well, as we finish up this video for today, I want to show you something here we're dealing with, with Bree. She has, according to my vet, um, a little dose of rain rot and uh, I've heard of it before I've never actually dealt with it I think I probably had it before with some horses but I've never actually had to treat it before and what it is some just some uh, skin uh, things there's a little bunches down through here just this little section right here has it and it's it's a Brenna explain a little bit better what it is it's a bacteria that okay. grows is growing and it's like the moist conditions are here so yeah so anyways this they, is what they get little underneath it, there's these little crusty things and when you pop them off there can be little pussy areas i guess right. from what 
So our vet just told us to use this MTG, and you just dump this on that, and uh, it should go away. Um, if I think of it, I'll try to show you guys as, in a, as the weeks go on or days go on to see what happens with this. Um, I've never had to deal with it before. I've never treated it on any of my horses. And, uh, but I've had, I have over the course of time noticed a few horses with a little bit of a bump on the back. And uh, it might have been that, I don't know. But it's always just gone away. And this probably would even go away even as just by themselves. But uh, it's simple enough and easy enough to, to use this and dump it on them. So that's what we did. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys have a great day.